So I want to talk about um, these lengths of chords that intersect on a circle. So if I had something that was like this, where I have um, this length here, this chord. Remember, chord is just connecting two edges of a circle, and this chord, and they cross somewhere. Now these lines have length, right? These segments have length, and then each of these partial segments have a length as well. And the relationship that's in here, and I'm not going to go into the proof here, uh, we did it in class, is basically like, let's say that this distance right here is A, and this distance right here is B. I don't know what they are, right? This, that's A long, that's B long. And I'll say that this distance right here is C long, and this distance right here is D long. And I just labeled those so I could have this to talk about. This length times that length. Like if I go along the line and I go, I have this length A, and I multiply it by length B, that's the same as if I went that length there, C, times D. So if I go along a line, this part of the segment times that part of the segment is going to be equal to this part of this segment times that part of that segment. That's true for any two intersecting chords. So, for example, if I had, um, instead of this A, B, C, D, let's say that uh, this was 5 and this was um, 14 and this was 2 and I didn't draw it to scale but if that's 2 and I wanted to figure out how long that D is well I know that like here 5 times 14 that's my that, my value for that right there and again I either know that or I you know multiply on my calculator that is equal to 70 but that must be equal to 2 times whatever that length is so see how I could set that up. And it looks like D in this case would be 35. And so that's how we can do this with these intersecting chords. So I'm not going to try and draw it to scale. I'm just going to draw two chords intersecting each other. And I will uh, I'll label them both. So this is 5, this is 7, this is 10, and this is X. So if I, as I go to solve that to, uh, to set it up, I know if I go along one of the lines, 5 times X... So that's uh, 5x, and that will be equal to whatever 7 times 10 is. Oh, and I got 70 again. That's funny. 70. 5x equals 70. So 5 times something is 70. So I can go 70 divided by 5, use my calculator, or I know it, is 14. Oh, wow, that's just like the problem I just did. So let's do another one then. Um, instead of 5, 10, x, and 7, let's say that this was a... Uh, Let's say that was a 3. So think about how that changes this problem just a little bit. 5 times x is still 5 times x, but here I have 3 times 10. So notice that this multiplies not to 70 but to 30. So if I keep going, if I keep going on that then, divide that by the 5, uh, x must be 6. So that would be 6 long. And notice that um, 5 times 6 is 30, 10 times 3 is 30. So they always multiply. To a constant amount. So here's another example. Let's make this x minus 3, make this 2, make this 5, and make this 6. So as I go to set this up, uh, I have 2 times x minus 3. And you know, I didn't even try to draw it to scale. Like this 2 and that, if this is actually too long, that looks like it wouldn't quite be 5. But I'm not going to try to draw it to scale. I'm just going to label them. So 2 times x minus 3 would equal 5 times 6. So 2 times x minus 3 equals 30. And now you can solve that, you know, however you like. Um, you could divide both sides by 2 right away here. You know that at x minus 3 must be 15. Um, or, so one thing I could do if I wanted to, if I saw it, 2 times what is 30? 15. So x minus 3 must be 15. Add 3 to both sides. So x equals 18. And I've solved for x. Now, if you didn't see it that, you know, you can do, go this route. Distribute that to 2x two minus 6 equals 30. And then solve this. So add 6 to both sides. 2x equals 36. Divide by 2. And again, x equals 18. You'll get it no matter what ways that you go to solve it. Um, in some of these problems, you know, instead of a 5, this might end up being like an x minus 5, 2, or something like that. You just set up the equations the same way, 6 times that, 2 times that, and, and solve them out. So again, the big relationship here is if I have a circle, intersecting chords, that's A, that's B, that's C, that's D. Uh, A times B is equal to C times D. 
and the rest of its algebra.